Hi there, my name is Dan Rojas. Oh no, I'm not Dan Rojas from uh, Green Power Science. I'm, uh, I'm somebody else, but I made this parabolic trough and uh, the next video will show you a little bit about how I did it. It's basically a frame. As you can see underneath here. Uh, it's very light and uh, over it I have this sheet which is made of aluminum. It's now the backside doesn't look like much. Uh, I have a new sheet that is unbudged uh, and uh, etc. Uh, for the real test. This is actually the front side. It's uh, covered with a protective layer and it's silvered uh, aluminium. So now what I have to do is uh, I have to uh, make sure that this uh, can move uh, like with this type of rod so it can uh, turn on the axis like this and then uh, I can put it outside when the sun is out and demonstrate it. I also have a vacuum tube. So here's the vacuum tube that I want to put in the focal point of this uh, parabolic trough. It's, uh, it's a glass one and uh, it's a little bit warm actually and it wasn't even in the sun. It, was, it had some uh, daylight on it. But this one, this type of vacuum tube has a, tube has a heat pipe in it so you have to tilt it upwards so the, the liquid that vaporizes can end up in the top and then you can uh, siphon off the heat from this uh, copper uh, thing. These ones are 20 euro so it's not very expensive and uh, this parabolic trough is supposed to have about well you can see by the width about 16 times uh, the intensity of light on the tube uh, as, uh, as normal so I hope this whole thing won't uh, explode basically. Just a little bit about how I constructed this uh, trough uh, shape. I drew a parabolic, uh, a parabolic shape uh, which is very easy because you can calculate, uh, calculate it and then I copied it and I cut it out of this uh, kind of multi, uh, multiplex wood and I simply connected them together with wood. I first I used some metal rods but I replaced them by, uh, by these uh, little uh, lads. And you can do it in many different ways. Uh, it's all about uh, kind of uh, acceptable stiffness. What I need to do now is make sure that it can uh, turn around on the main axis. So I have to kind of move this here, put it in here and then uh, make uh, some kind of support for it and then I can even uh, add a little motor to make it uh, track uh, the sun as it uh, turns during the day. So I made uh, support for the vacuum tube and here I can show you that uh, the mirror is actually focus focusing on the tube because here on the left side where the mirror is curved correctly you can see mainly uh, the vacuum tube, the blue of the vacuum tube which means that the parallel rays of the sun will focus on the tube when they come down. So now I have to make the support and uh, the attachment for the vacuum tube and, uh, and some kind of way to make it uh, possible for the whole mirror to turn with the sun. So I connected a little plank here on the sides so that I have this hole where to which I can connect another plank and then have a support to the back as a back rib uh, that will allow me to turn the whole uh, um, parabolic trough at the same time. So uh, next step is uh, to uh, construct that. So I built the, uh, the support with uh, kind of an improvised uh, tilting, uh, there's simply a bolt around which the whole trough can tilt. And uh, the eventual uh, vacuum tube will sit on top of the, the beam that you see. Uh, and uh, the whole thing is a little bit wobbly still, but I'm going to make a little bit more support. And then you can put it uh, at the angle towards the sun. And by, by moving the whole trough around the bolt, you will be able to track the sun as it uh, comes up in the east and, uh, and goes down in the west. This is what it looks like outside. I haven't fixed the mirror to the wood yet uh, and I'll show you later how it concentrates the light. Uh, but now I'm first going to make the vacuum tube uh, holding uh, thingy that still needs to be on there of course. 
Here a quick look at the at the positioning mechanism. It's simply uh, once again uh, it's a DC motor with uh, one of these connected to uh, well to the horizontal arm, and uh, this will be able to move it uh, also to the left and to the right uh, perfectly. So now I'm going to make uh, the place where the vacuum tube uh, hangs into the or goes into the the cross beam. And then I'm going to wait to tomorrow, I guess, to test this thing. So this is what the end result looks like. It is uh, still constructed a little bit uh, <laughs> in the amateurish fashion. Uh, but uh, so here's the motor to uh, move the trough uh, with the sun. And then the vacuum tube is in the middle. Give you a different perspective. And if you look from the top, or let's say from here, you'll see you get all this blue, that's the vacuum tube, which means that the mirror is actually projecting all the light that comes uh, from right above towards the vacuum tube, which is what I wanted to achieve. So hopefully we'll test this, we have to take it apart if we want to use it outside, put it back up together again and hopefully a little bit better and then uh, probably the top will get extremely hot another thing you can say about it is that you could easily replace the vacuum tube with a set of uh, pv cells i think you can fit about well one half meter is 10 160 is 10 so 14 so you could have uh, 28 cells uh, next to uh, in the length of it in the in the focus point of this mirror and although they would get very hot there's two things about that first of all you could use that heat simply extract it with water by making a, a, a laminate of glass and cells because these cells they get extremely hot in the sun and then they lose some of their performance which is not a huge problem if you use that heat in some other way you know if you don't get the electricity then you can always use it as, uh, uh, as heat, as water heat. So you could have a combined uh, water heater uh, solar panel uh, situation with this. And actually that's not a very bad idea in general because PV cells usually uh, kind of are efficient about 17% which means that 83% of the energy they receive they either reflect, uh, radiate out or, or they retain, they get extremely hot. So it could be actually quite a useful construction to combine this with, so let's say a water heater com combined with uh, PV.